you've been looking at waterfront property in Ontario, you may have run into something called the Original Shore Road Allowance, or SRA. What is that? Back in the day, in the late 1700s, when Ontario was first surveyed, and they made counties and then townships and then concessions and then lots for um, different people, there were road allowances that were 66 feet wide that were reserved between concessions and some of the lots to allow for future roadways. When it came to the waterfront, they reserved the same 66 foot strip around all of the waterways to allow people like travelers by water or uh, loggers to stop on public lands. Over time, a lot of those strips did not get developed into waterfront roadways. The roads went elsewhere. And so today they still sit as public lands. Many municipalities will allow the adjacent property owner to buy that shore road allowance. This is called closing the road. And it involves a process and a survey and it's generally pretty low cost. Some people would ask, why would I bother? It depends on the specific property. So um, if the property is particularly small and you wanna redevelop it and you don't have enough land to allow the size of building you want, buying that shore road allowance allows you to increase the size of your land and get the building that you want. You may also have a building that sits right on the shore road allowance because it would have been built before there were any setback requirements. In that case, if you want to apply for a permit to make any changes to that building, you're obviously going to need to own the land it sits on. Not owning it doesn't really impact your ability to enjoy and use the land. People just use it as their own, but it is important when you're looking at property to understand, is it owned or is it open?